Hi guys, it's Elizabeth, Team Epic Reads, and on today's episode of DIYA, we are making something that is inspired by Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. Dumplin' is all about a girl named Willa Dean, her nickname is Dumplin', and she teaches us that if you got it, flaunt it, and that you don't have to win a pageant to be a beauty queen. So today, we are gonna make pageant sashes. Today's episode, most importantly, we're gonna need a piece of shiny fabric. I went with red so that it matches the color of Dumplin', but you can get whatever color that you want. You're gonna need a very basic sewing kit. Don't worry, it's gonna be very easy. It's a simple stitch, I'll walk you through it. Some red thread so that it matches, or whatever the color of your fabric is, you're gonna to wanna to match that with your thread color. Glitter pens, I'm sure that's not surprising. Scissors, something to bedazzle your sash with. And lastly, hot glue. Your first step is that you wanna make sure that you have the right length of fabric. So it has to go around your body like a sash, and you wanna make sure that you leave enough room to make a knot on the end. So this is a pretty good length for me. And in terms of the width, you wanna make sure it's about, I'm gonna say a foot in total. So then when I fold it in half, it's about six inches. For the next step, we're just gonna do a simple running stitch all the way down the length of your sash. So I have my needle and my red thread, and I'm gonna start right at the end corner here. This is a really, really simple one. It's just in and out, in and out, all the way down. You don't have to do this perfectly, but you do wanna make sure that you are at least trying to keep it straight. All right guys, so now that we have gone all the way down the length of our sash with our very simple running stitch, we're gonna do the exact same thing on the short end. And we're only gonna do it on one side so that we can turn this inside out. So I'm just gonna quickly do the exact same thing. I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack again as well. While we're here, you know, just stitching away, this is a pretty good time to talk about the book, which is, you know, my favorite thing. What I love the most about Dumplin' is that Willa Dean is one of those characters who you just absolutely fall in love with. And this book just does everything from your first kiss to singing Dolly Parton songs to really just discovering who you are and being okay with it and not apologizing for it. And that is just such an amazing message. And I think that with our pageant sashes, what we're gonna be doing is not worrying about it being for a beauty queen, but just being about something that celebrates you and who you are. And when you have shiny fabric like I do, Sometimes you might have to straighten it back out and pull it and it might pull a little bit. Don't worry about it. We're doing a really big stitch. So if you make any mistakes, you should be able to just pull the fabric and it should straighten out again. So I'm just gonna tie this off with the, just a typical sewing knot. Okay, so now that we're all finished our sewing, we're just gonna go to the open end and we're gonna turn it inside out. Just go ahead and straighten it out. It's okay if it's not perfect. That's what the whole book's all about. Before we start bedazzling our sash, we wanna make sure that we have all of our letters going in the right place. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie this around me so that I know where to put my letters. So you're just gonna to wanna to bring it around your body and make a knot on the end. I want mine to say book nerd because that's what I am and it's awesome. And so I'm gonna make sure that my B is right up here by my shoulder. So I'm just gonna mark that with one of the pins from my sewing kit. Okay, let's get to work. I'm gonna just map out really quickly my lettering so that I know what my spacing is gonna be. And I encourage you to do the same. So I know I'm gonna making B, O, O, K, and I'm just gonna mark with another pin where my spot is just to help guide me a little bit more. And then make sure that I have enough to write nerd. Yep, we're good. Okay, let's get going. I'm gonna use just some regular glitter glue to make my letters. I'm gonna go with gold and silver and maybe a little bit of accents of red. I don't know yet. I'm just gonna do what happens naturally in the moment. So I'm gonna just start off slowly and then if I wanna make my letters bigger, I can go back and retrace them. All right, that doesn't look too bad. We can totally do this. Now feel free to go crazy with this. If you wanna do multiple colors, different designs, totally have fun with it. This is all about you being you. Check it out. Fun nerd in all glitter. Love it. Final step, we're gonna put on some extra gemstones just to make this even more sparkly. You know how I feel about sparkles. So for this part, I'm gonna use my hot glue gun and these super cool little gemmy thingies. Now they're a little bit small, so I'm not, I don't have to use too much glue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a couple of dots. I'm thinking probably in the O's and plop on my little gemstones. And if your glitter is still wet, you might be able to get, get away with not using the glue gun and just sticking your gems right on top of the glitter. <gasps> Ready? 
<gasps> Ta-da! I've married all bedazzled. Woohoo! I love it. It's perfect. Make sure you let it dry for a little bit because you don't want to get this glitter all over your pretty pageant outfit or whatever it is that you like to wear. And once you have your sash on, don't forget to dumpling pose. If you want to make your very own dumpling sash, we want to see it. And if you do share it with hashtag EpicReadsDIY, you get a chance to win the book Dumplin' and a Dumplin' prize pack featuring lots of fun things. So share your sashes.